I mean, the fundamental question I think here is, is there a threat to the international liberal, liberal order that the EU and Germany have built, have worked so hard to build in recent decades, coming from powers like Russia and China, potentially, but also now with the U.S. withdrawal from its support for various international initiatives, which are reflective of that order, and we can list them. Um, the Iran deals one, the climate change process, the liberal trade regimes. We could go on probably with others. If you analyze the language, it's interesting that from my American friends, senior representatives in government, U.S. American friends, n almost nobody is using the term Western anymore. So that, that gives you an idea of a changed mindset. But that, that rules-based international order is still there. Is it a perfect order? I would say no. And that's a reason why Germany, for example, has, even before the Trump presidency, have been advocating, for example, for a reform of the UN system. And we have been and we still are very active in UN reform because we believe that the most important body, the Security Council, is not representing today's reality. We need to be open for, for new actors and there are new actors on the block and that's not something negative. But the concerning aspect is that rule of law, democracy, um, the respect for human rights, which has always been under threat, is now also slowly disappearing from the agenda of Western powers. And one, maybe the most important Western power, withdraw from the Human Rights Council of the United Nations. We really regretted that decision. Uh, other, other aspects of that international architecture. So I think what we need to do is to strengthen the idea of multilateralism. And we should work, as I said in the very beginning, with our friends. Together we are very active in the United Nations and its organizations to make the case also by example that, that international cooperation is delivering delivering results for the people. Everybody talks about the President of the United States. That's okay with me. And he is the most important partner that we have and we are working with him in his administration. But there's also Congress. And there are democratically elected governors and there are business associations and trade unions and civil society organizations. We are going to celebrated German-American year, but also with a lot of cultural um, encounters. So we are not giving up on America. Why should we?